G'day, this is Captain Noob, and I've got one question for the game. Can you solo Scorched Earth defeat the Scorched Beast Queen with a pepper shaker? A pepper shaker, for those who aren't in the know, is a table thing that you use to spread pepper on your meals, but there's also another thing called a pepper shaker in Fallout 76. It's like got bits of gas minigun on it, it's a rotary barrel looking thing. So, yeah, it's one of these new Meat Week heavy guns that was pretty sought after, it was a very low plan, and you can trade these, so if you didn't manage to get the plan during Meat Week, you can go out and find them. You can even get your friends to just craft your non-legendary ones, transfer them over, then you can craft the legendary things on yourself. And we've got a legendary anti-armor thing here, with 25% more damage whilst aiming, and that's criticals feeling 15% fast. So we don't actually utilize that tertiary legendary effect a lot, but the secondary one, we utilize a little bit more. I think would what would be better on this thing would be a little bit of fire rate, but the fire rate already isn't really that great, so we can't really utilize this to get a whole lot more damage that way anyway. But here's the thing about Pepper Shake, is it just weapons in general in Fallout 76. I'm a simple man. There is one specific thing that I want for all of my weapons to be uh, good in. One category, or rather a bunch of categories. There's one th one simple concept that I like my weapons to be well versed in. It starts with V, it's versatility. So if you can use the weapon in a wide variety of situations and don't have to switch to other weapons from time to time, that means the weapon's good. And the Pepper Shaker, whilst great against mobbing, it's got a few problems when it comes to taking out things with higher levels of damage reduction, like the Scorch Beast Queen and Earl Williams, the giant Wendigo that you fight in the mine. And most of that comes from its functionality. It's a slow-firing thing, which is sure, most of the things in this game are a little bit more on the slow firing, if you have them modded with semi-auto receivers, if they're available for automatics. But it's got a mag capacity of 50, which is not a whole lot and its reloading is going to be happening quite a lot, so that's a shame. But more importantly, this thing is a shotgun-based weapon, which means this damage that you see right here is going to be spread between all of the pellets that it shoots, and all of those pellets individually will be soaked up by the damage reduction that, that the Scorch Beast Queen has, or whatever you're shooting at. Which means that you're going to do basically next to nothing. Knowing that, we've had to make a little bit of a interesting loadout or rather a really specialized anti-scorched loadout and build um the build is more of the damage based thing we've uh we swap out dodgy in here just to get a little bit of vats action didn't really work out that much gun fuel is also there but we don't utilize vats all that much we've got ricochet as well for tanking one gun army enforcer those things go well with this weapon because you can shoot stuff and it'll cripple it Especially useful against the Scorch Beast Queen. If you cripple the limbs, it'll sit down and you can get to shoot it in close range where the thing is good to be at. And then you've got a bunch of these uh, perks in strength. Unfortunately, none of these allow... Like, if you're going for max damage, it doesn't allow you to have a faster reload through lock and load or scatter shot. But it is what it is. Also, Tenderizer is there as well. I end up utilizing follow through a little bit. Uh, most of these perks just to give me extra abilities. And I've also got Stabilize, which is kind of massive for keeping the spread down and a little bit more armor penetration, which synergizes well with the prefix of the weapon. Also, Skeet Shooter keeps that spread nice and uh, down. Now, we do end up using a little bit of uh, Formula P just to make it super accurate, but it barely made any difference. Generally, uh, Stabilize and Skeet Shooter did the job for me because it incentivized me to get into close range where this thing would be useful anyway. So, you'll note our armor here. Our power armor, you'll find that it is all zealots. Mm, very nice. So 15, 30, 45, 60, and then 75% reduction against anything scorched, which is great. And if we look at the uh, chest piece here, it's a protocol, so it gives me 50% more uh, damage reduction under Nerd Rage, which I'll be at because I want all the damage I can get from my Pepper Shaker, which is great. And then we're going to top that off with a little thing called Nuka Cola Vaccinated. It's the thing that you make in the uh, Wastelanders quest line. So if you eat that, you get yourself a little bit more damage reduction versus Scorch, 15% less. So basically, the Scorch Beast Queen punches us like a billion times, and we just shrug it off like it's nothing. And apparently, the paint is also immune to uh, Scorch Beast for the most part as well which is very nice. I've also taken a bunch of the uh, serums here just to reduce the uh, 
burden on my build strength because I just couldn't carry stuff around. But that's kind of how we did this. Now on to the gameplay. Alright, we've got about 30 seconds to the nuke drop. We should probably use this time to gather some adrenaline. We'll have a bit of pre-drinks before that. There we go. We're going to be pretty much invincible to these guys, especially when we get the ricochet rolls on them. So, I'm kind of worried about the rotary barrels here, just because all of that damage will be split, and all of those projectiles will be are getting the same amount of uh, that damage reduction that she has individually. But we've got a couple of good things about us. We can get up nice and close fairly easily because we've got Enforce. I've probably already went over this, but that's okay. See that drop that Scorch Beast and nice little silhouette there, mate. I hope that I was going to take the thing with it. Now it's time for Scorch Dirt to begin proper. We'll get her out and about and we'll just keep on fighting the little Zombos as they run at us and see where we go from there little baby scorch beast see even back here the range on this thing is going to penalize us very hardly harshly from back here it doesn't help that i'm being chased around by these little thralls that they have on them anyways we should probably focus on the main threat here the big old scorch beast queen maybe aim down sights perhaps a little bit of hit, extra hitman's damage there we go and i think i just I, I just dropped the gun. Hold on a second. That's... Okay, this hasn't worked desperately well. Okay, it's all good now. Um, yeah, I went to equip something, and then I, I dropped the thing. Not a good idea. So I'm going to go back into... We're getting chased by some damage over time here. It's kind of bad. We'll get rid of that. What I really wanted to do was... No, not that. That! Alright. So now we've got this in the way. That'll stop any of these little bastards from shooting the health bar off. And I guess we'll just start shooting at this thing uh, in first person. Because if we get staggered, really no biggie. I think the power arm is going to have a, a few dints in it by the end of this video. But... That's kind of the extent of what we get here. Not to mention Dodgy is going to be constantly wearing out my AP bar, so we can't utilize the crits ever. Also, a couple other things we can do. We can do some Formula P. We can maximize the spread on this thing. And they're on a 10% health. We can direct our lasers a little bit more accurately like this. But, as you can tell, this is not doing the job. You take these to Scorched Earth, probably the best thing you can do is just uh, use them for crippling weapons, which they excel at for sure, that's really good. But other than that, they're just kind of worthless for damage. I'm doing a little bit here, but if you're getting outpaced by a bloody, by a bloody Gauss minigun, then you've got issues, because I consider that to be a pretty dummy pick versus Scorched Earth. We'll keep on going though. If we had uh, old school powers from um, the Strangler Heart power armor like we had back in the day, then we'd be laughing right now. We'd be causing all strife on the hit bars because of the damage over time we can produce, but unfortunately, it's not the case here. We've got a couple of Wendigo screaming at us, a bunch of dudes just shooting at us for no reason. Getting decent accuracy least. All of these tiny little laser beams are formed into one at this range. And yeah, so we're hitting her for 11. And if she's going to stand there like that, great, but she's not always going to do that. What I might do is get rid of Dodgy so we can utilize AP for something a little bit more offensive. And we're getting an extra one damage from all the projectiles. With the uh, with the Hitman's legendary effect, isn't that great? You need to stop that. Be kind of annoying me now. And we don't have concentrated fire to get those crits in the head, so you know it's not like it'd do a whole lot of difference anyway. I doubt we'd hit most of the shots just because of my lowish perception stat. But this is kind of it. It'll just be a very long time. I really wish that you could still stack the 
the old bloody strangle heart like you could, but you know, they can't keep doing that because that'll slow down all the consoles. It'll uh, crash all the consoles, crash all the games, and people will play something else, and Bethesda can't have that. Getting real tired of these Wendigos in my ear, I'll tell you that much. What are they even doing down there? Honestly, I can deal with them. Kind of. I'll get irritated by it, but whatever. May as well take him out. There we go. I had like three Wendigos down there. And he managed to stagger me from down there. Good on him. We'll jump back on the ground for a bit. Looks like most of the stuff is cleared out. If anything, we can just... You know, just use them for adrenaline fodder. Not really much else we can do with it. I'll try to find the face. The reload there. So, one of the reasons I turned on infinite ammo, at least for the no reload part, is that you get these huge. Like, I have to use that many fusion cells for this, it's ridiculous. But. We're almost to mutation threshold, so what's probably in order here is just to do chems because this is going to be taking way too long. We'll be here all bloody night. So we've got some psycho tats. We'll utilize a bit of that. I think we've got bitten by some sort of creature here. A couple of, uh, as I think the uh, Formula P is wearing off right now. We've actually mutated her. That's good. That's probably why she was up and about. Try to deal with whatever this thing is, because the last thing I want to die to is uh, damage over time. Hey, weirdly enough, the Scorched Beast Queen is... I guess that's the objective marker. I'm, I'm looking at that, I'm thinking it's like one of those markers that you put when you've got a recon scope. The good thing is, it's like a proper tank-on-tank -tank slugging match at the moment. If anything, the most dangerous thing that could come along right now would be like a Mylurk King, and that'd probably do me in, but we're um, about six and a half minutes into this fight, and not any side is going to budge here. She's given me her best shots time and time again, but my armor, whoops, I just did, oh, I think I just did a disease killer there. I had the blight, probably. No, she's actually a healthy Mylurk Queen. Well, there you go. We'll jump some more Psycho Tats on. She's going to do that thing where she, like, teabags the ground, but then starts flying again. That's kind of a weird behavior that I've noticed from the Scorch Beasts of late. What are you still doing here, mate? Get out. So I've got a couple of options. I could get rid of Glow Sight. That's not doing me well, so we'll switch to Concentrated Fire, I think. And hopefully the uh, Scorched Beast Queen will shuffle over here. But if we if we can slip back into caution, I'm not going to say no to that. Because that will mean we get a quick follow-through bonus. But it doesn't look like that will be the case. We've got a full AP bar now. May as well utilize it. Don't really know if that was the best decision to make. See, even accuracy at this range is like it's pitiful. Even before I, even like when I had a clean shot at that range, 44%. Now I could fix that with a little bit more perception, but kind of not worth it, I don't think. I think she's jumped up again. Yep. We'll have to hit up her wings again, make her drop down. Come on. Maybe it's another new call of vaccinated time. Just to keep me bloody going. Just in case she wants to punch more. And she's kind of making this difficult. She's attacking something else, I guess, because she realized it's a futile fucking jest to try and get me. But, well, actually, we're in caution now. So, we'll hit her up the bum. We'll get that sweet, sweet follow through bonus. That's multiplying all our damage by two at this point. So there you go. We're making good time here for absolute piss minimum damage. What was that? Oh, it was you. A guy with a stick. Hitting a thing designed to stop rifle rounds. Yeah, you know, fuck it, drop it. What I wanted to do is this. Somehow the Mylurk... Mylurk Queen missed me. Well, 
he didn't hit me to start with. The Scorch Beast Queen missed, and we're back in this constant loop of shooting her in the face. There's some other NPCs around. I think I read 9 for the crit there, which didn't seem to be doing a whole lot. I think there's a Radroach or something. And she's being real standoffish at the moment. She doesn't want to come close to me. In fact, she's running off further than where I've ever seen her go before. Maybe I'm messing with her pathing? Although she was punching me just fine before. There she goes. I'd fight you like this, like proper one-on-one -on -one fight, but I'm going to get hit by something that casts damage over time. Then I'm going to die because i got to wait for the barrel to spin down. So that's not good. There's a dog. I'm surprised it didn't get staggered just then. Actually, no, the mutant hounds don't stagger you nearly as much as the regular-sized dogs, despite being much smaller. Yeah, don't ask. Is it Radroach? No, it's a... It's a Radroach in a costume, it would seem. Alright, you're up again. We've got a shitload of health more to deal with. But, whatever. Keep going. She looks like she's ready to drop once more. We'll pop a fresh mag in. Ring around the rosy on this Scorch, collect that adrenaline damage, and continue the shooting streak. Oh good, you're gonna stand there. For a bit. All of the concussion that I'm getting for crippling her head over and over again. It's gonna it's gonna make a girl a little bit disoriented, I think. Tell you what. Maybe I should do Colossal Problem next time because this... Ah, it's a golfer! No, 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 no. Out. You evil, diabolical, <sighs> thrall-inducing giant bat. You took control of my golfers and now they're all weird and pink colored. They've got a really low, low resolution <laughs> texture on them, worst of all. They don't make the gulpers like the glowing ones. Alright, there goes that one. The little babby scorch beast coming in. See, the damage difference here is apparent because the little babby scorch beast, so they don't have to worry about... Well, they don't have the... They don't have the ability of uh, the damage reduction. I think she's stuck in a tree, which we'll try to utilize a little bit here. We'll creep forward. As I'm creeping faster, you'll notice that... Oh, damn it. The uh, damage was going up as I was creeping forward, and we can figure out the sort of range for this. And you have to be basically in shotgun range to use this. We're even approaching half time at this point. This has been the slowest scorched earth I have ever done. But not because I'm not because lack of trying. Believe you me, I'm bloody trying. This thing is not really giving me the best of options here. We might even whack on some more psycho attacks here. And if I've got some overdrive, I can do that. Oh, staggering 11 damage there. See, even with the chems, we're getting tiny bits more damage just because of how it's all calculated. Thanks, additive damage. That being said, like, Bethesda really don't like you doing this. They hate it. They hate it when you kill bosses really quick. That's why they brought it along, because they saw us. We were smashing these endgame bosses really, really quickly, and they thought, well, fuck, that's embarrassing. These players are too powerful. We've we got to nerf them, man. There we go. There's a nice little proc of that to keep the DPS running. Didn't waste that perk, that's for sure. And no matter how hard she tries, she has to jump on the ground all the time. This thing's got the dragon wrench out in it, you see. Joel Jaws are full, I think it is. That's what makes him go on the ground. Alright, looks like we've we're out of like enemies and there she goes again she's gonna try to get up she's gonna realize oh my wings are crippled it's causing me great pain so i'll see you on the ground in another 30 seconds but really determined to just keep this one going can't bloody see anything oh it's a murmur glad i killed you all right here you are the combat music stopped there i got worried for a second because i thought um she'd forgotten about me and then would fly off to the bloody regions of the the deepest regions of the place and then to Radbridge, you know what, whatever, it's fine. Also, the, uh, weirdly enough, the barrel noise went away when I aimed down sights. Listen. 
when I aim down sights, the barrel noise goes away. Now, they're probably going to try, if they catch wind of that next patch, they'll probably try to fix it, and they'll have it so when you start aiming down sights, hey, it's a fog crawler, so yeah. They'll have it so when you're aiming down sights, the barrel just stops spinning, it, or the barrel spins, but you don't fire bullets, just like Todd used to make. There we go. And off she pops again. I've been very lucky not to grab a lot in the way of um, the damage over time monsters. I've kind of just jinxed that now. Also, I'm sneaking for no reason. I think she's found me. All right, we're approaching half time here. No sides giving each other an inch at the moment. Her infinite punching, absolutely worthless against my emergency protocol, full zealot armor with a little bit of nuke cola vaccinated. Oh, she's coming in. I saw a little bit of my health bar go away just now. And I'm going to spam some stim packs because I was just hammering the button because I had to. Now, I'm hearing a... Is that a oh, it's a Snelly. Yeah, you got a little bit of damage over time on you. Alright, the zone's getting a bit too hot. I'll pop up here again. You know, I haven't seen her do a lot of her um, shouty shouts in this one. She doesn't do a yol to show she out where she fires explosive sonic bullets out of her mouth or arsehole depending on which way she's facing we'll keep on doing this though she's on her last legs now if you're still watching by now i mean thanks for not the most exciting video but here we go. We're almost there. She's going to treadmill on the spot now. I've got to get in that cardio before... Oh, wait. No, she's out of here. All right, then. You can bugger off over there for a bit. I'm just going to continue killing your thralls. Hopefully, that annoys you to the point where you come a little bit closer. Maybe I was crouching for the spread. The spread's a little bit less. It's pretty good with uh, stabilized and skeet shooter anyway, so... Formula P, I feel like, was kind of wasted. It was nice to fire, like, the laser beams, though. Ah, shit. And bash. Stim pack spam. You can't bash after the barrel spin down anyway. Hang on, where are you? Don't you bloody forget about me. I'm so bloody close now. Oh, these are blood bugs. Okay, we got lucky. We had one sting wing. Didn't die from it. Rad rat. Other thing. Alright, full adrenaline now. We utilize a jetpack just to float on over so we don't get nipped in the bum hole by whatever creatures are following me about. And take an all bloody night. I can see the sun rising here, but we might have done it. Please don't let me get killed now. And one last... Oh, I'm going to take her out in the air, surely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to be awesome. There we go. Airborne kill. Couldn't have finished that better myself. So, there you have it. The anti armor Pepper Shaker, Titman. It didn't really do much. Probably would have gone a little bit better. There's the, the thing in case you forgot, by the way. Uh, probably would have gone a little bit better with uh, a fire rate variant, just to increase the DPS a little bit, but you can tell that Although you can, you can use a pepper shaker to solo squash earth. For the love of God, don't. Just don't. It's a waste of time, waste of ammo, waste of resources, and un and you give Barbara the most unfortunate and uh, inhumane death, where her limbs are crippled over and over and over in a cycle of destroying her bones and skeletal systems and everything so it's not a very environmentally friendly safe for the bats way of killing her but then again she like uh she scorched a gulper so maybe she deserves it in the end and on that note it's time for me to call it a video we, we got a zealots thing that all matched well with the power armor huh it's even got some decent legendary effects on it as well except for the prefix and also an ultra side internal database just in case you want to load this video on your Power Armors database to remind you to never, ever, ever use these things in Scorched Earth except for crippling. Then switch to something else, something that's actually good. And on that note, thank you for watching, guys.